Hello and welcome. My name is Papa Sean, and this is Medieval Dynasty. And we have the farm and the people work in the farm. And if you want to learn how to do farm management, that's what we're here to talk about. So we're going to click on the M key, brings up the map, but we can also switch over to management. Here you're going to have lots of different people, and then you're going to also see your farms. So if you haven't had any fields created yet, you need to go into the craft area. You push Q, and it brings up the craft mode. You go to buildings, you go to farming, you go to field, and then you lay out your stakes. Once you've laid out the land, the land's going to be on grubbed, and uh, you're going to need to be able to, uh, either yourself or your, your people working on it are going to plow it, uh, you know, grub up the land, and then put in some fertilizer, uh, plow that into the soil, and then you can lay some seeds. So in order to do that through your management of people, you're going to need to have a farm built. Once the farm is built and you've got villagers assigned to it, so we look over at the farm, you got the barn, and you can have up to four people working the farm. Uh, I put them all as farmers so that they can focus on that area, and I do all the crafting because uh, it seems a little faster when the player does that. But the farming aspect is really helpful, and it also indicates with little red, red icons that they're missing anything like tools. All right, so you want to make sure that they have hoes, they have bags, and sites, and it actually tells you how many you have or the quality of them. And uh, you can see here that they need bags, so I'll have to craft up some leather bags. And all of that stuff can be crafted up through handcrafting. You can make the hose over here with logs and sticks. You can make the sickles over in the uh, uh, the workshop, uh, not the workshop, the blacksmith. And then in the simple bags, what they're actually needing right now, you can craft up some of these real quick. And you can see it only takes a few seconds. Once you've crafted those up, you can stick them inside your warehouse, or you can stick them in the barn, and they'll pick them up and use them. All right, so back to the management. Now that you've got the farm and you've got the people assigned to the barn, right, four spots here, it accounts for all farms you have. So if you have these fields near the barn, all the better. If you have the houses that people live in near the, the barn and fields, all the better. It makes it easier for them to move around and get there. And then what you have is you'll have your fields that you've created. You'll be able to double click on them and it'll show the current status. Inside the status, you've got not grabbed in white, You've got unplowed and kind of a grayish color. There's a light brown for fertilized, dark brown for plowed, and then that means it's ready for seeds. Once the seeds have been planted, you'll have green for plant growth, and then yellow when it's ready to be harvested. And again, you can harvest this yourself or have your people do it. They will panel every step in this status uh, if you just allow for it. Um, but what happens is that tells you the status. The next icon to the right is you're going to have what the actual schedule what you want people to do. And so when you first get started, this will all be blanked out. It'll look like this across the board, right? Uh, what you can do is click on that clear. I know it's kind of counterintuitive because you think that you're going to clear this away, but you're not. When you double click on that, you're going to have a plant type selection. So you can pick anything you want. You can click carrots. And then if you click there, you got one square of carrots. Uh, if you click across all of it, you can make it all carrots. Nothing saves until you push the escape key and there'll be an F to accept. All right. Uh, how do you know which one you want them to plant? Well, they're going to only be able to plant certain things based on the season. You can see right now they're planting cabbage right here. And the reason they're planting cabbage is because when I go to my bag, you have to have a bag to see this. You Here's the bag in the sand. You right click and you can do field or orchard. We're looking at the field. Here it shows you all of the, the items that can be put on the field. Fertilizer is always open, right? We can always fertilize the land. And then even if you don't have these things in your inventory, you can see whether or not they're allowed to go in. And it tells you the, the seasons that you can plant. So in this particular season we're in, we can only plant cabbage. All right, so if we can only plant cabbage, it makes sense to make all the fields cabbage. Cabbage takes one season to grow. So if you plant it now, it'll be able to be harvested next season. It won't get in the way of anything else that you want to plant. All right, something different uh, that takes multiple seasons to grow would be the, uh, let's see over here, I think we've got some, here it is, these oats. These oats we planted last season and they're not yet ready for harvest. So these oats we'd want to get into the ground uh, and then we would miss the opportunity to grow cabbage, for example, in this season because they're still growing the oats. All right, so when we go in here, we click on the field and then we can select cabbage. All right, and so they're all already set to cabbage because that's what we can grow this season, but all you would do is select and grow and wrap across. If you wanted to plant something else or keep a, a field reserved, 
you could go ahead and double click again on the clear and you can pick rye and when the season comes that rye can be planted assuming you've got the seeds for rye and you have fertilizer your people will go to it and they will fertilize the land they'll put down the rye seeds and you'll be able to have that crop going. It's pretty quick to swap them out as well, so don't worry about having to leave them all the same. I like to flip them the cabbage during this particular season just so that uh, you use all of the land. You will find that you have a mass amount of foods brought in because they will pick the cabbage up or the different crops and things and they'll stick it uh, either if it's food into your food warehouse. So you want to have one of those. That's what this is right here. It's got the food. You can see like carrots and things hanging from the the items and you can see that we have a thousand cabbage. Cabbage comes at you quick. All right, so all that will be dropped off in there. Any seeds or if you've got like uh, flax or wheat that'll go inside your warehouse and that, that can be uh, broken down further. Um, but your people will go ahead and harvest everything, they'll plant everything. Uh, just the further processing of the materials will be something that you either assign them as new jobs or you do it yourself. Hopefully this has been helpful to you guys. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, happy questing. Happy farming.